they're doing all this construction here at the Flying J in Tuali. I went in there and got some drinks. Let's go fire Tyler up and let him warm up. We can probably get out of here in about, oh, it's about 10 minutes. We could roll out. Nice night, not too cold. There he is, looking mighty fine and green. Gotta park in the back row. Especially during the day if you want some good sleep. Did I get good sleep? No. I did not. But I got about four and a half hours, so I guess that'll do. It's all about I could do on the first day back in the truck. Hopefully our Qualcomm doesn't throw us into driving. <laughs> beep, beep. This has got a big old air compressor on it. It's the 750. Two flow 750. Most of these cats have the 550, but this got the big boy. Love that sound of that cat. Hate those Jakes though. Terrible. But I feel that they need a kit because I can hear them popping through the exhaust, so I don't feel that they're working to their full potential. All right, it's working. Good to go, bro. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull the valve covers off on it. When we get home, I'm gonna see what Jake, uh, Jake's it has. The Jake heads, and we're gonna order a rebuild kit for it, and we're gonna rebuild the Jake's because I feel they probably need it. It should hold back better with it. I only got 9,000 pounds in this trailer. I shouldn't have to ride my brakes, you know? Personal touches! It's a good looking truck we built. A lot of effort went into it. Still working on it though, it's not fully done. But we did a pretty good job, I think. It was a cool truck already, but I think we made it a little cooler. Safety first, guys. bought them seats for Alice because man I'm tired of the not having armrests. This annoys me. Alright, right in your face. Alright, so we're gonna get the hell on out of here. And make some miles. I adjusted these mirrors so I can actually see on them now. the brackets were like folded in so the mirrors were sticking out past the exhaust for the cab so you couldn't like even see around the trailer my poor wife she had to endure that let's make let's make, let's make some tracks
guys like them spinning tires? You guys like them turbo whistles? Just fine. Jay's under construction here, so. What are my impressions of this truck? I like it. It's a good driving truck. I haven't really pulled the trailer with it till now, so. <coughs> yeah. It's got some quirks because it's an older truck, but it ain't too bad. Just gotta watch out over there because all these people live there now. paperwork got a truck let's go put this trailer in a door and go get our other one luckily my wife travels with bolt cutters so I can cut them oh she's saying that these locks are a pain in my butt to open up pretty easy to me the way I'm in Bigger. Here we go.
Well, Martin, that's just because you're stronger than I am. So everything, of course, is going to be easier. Come on now. You know better. Looks like we got ourselves a full house today. All the way to the back, top to bottom. And we're sealed. Trailer looks good. It's a newer unit. I think it says we got about 16,000 on it. Might be a little bit heavier by the looks of it. But I'll take that in the winter time. All the lights are working. Now let's get out of here. Go to Seattle.
park here. I'm gonna go to bed. Making sure I didn't drive over nothing. This is a scrap. Truck's filthy, but hey, it's winter still. So after running the mileage on this truck, it did 6.34 miles per gallon. That's paper and pen. It's pretty good. Even considering it's a cat. It's pretty good. Fancy did about that last trip too. I think it'll get better once the uh, winter blend goes away and it warms up. <clears throat> so anyway, we're here in, where the hell are we? Johnson's Corner at the Petro. And we're going to bed. I'm tired. Uh, we sent our team out across 80 today. They were going to go southern route, but it looks like Donner Pass wasn't closed and they didn't have any change of restrictions. Now, Colorado's supposed to get some snow. It's kind of skeptical about how much they're going to get. So, we're not sure, but Wyoming, by the time they get to Wyoming, should be okay. So, worst case scenario, that's what we'll do. I am going to go across Wyoming. Um, not sure whether I'm going to go across 80 or if I'm going to go across uh, 25 and up, up, up to I-90. I might do that. That's a straight pipe Cascadia. Emissions deleted. That's illegal. Anyway, when I wake up, I'll check on that and see if I'm going to go up I-25 to 90 and into Montana. If I do that, then I'm going to end up in Butte, Montana, or as I like to call Bati, as my wife would know. Anyway, um, we'll figure that out when we wake up. So we're going to go to bed. It was a productive night. It was a tiring night for me. It was actually a very tiring night because I didn't get good rest yesterday. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on some of that right now. So I'll catch you guys here on the uh, when we get back to work. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on.